Hello guys, today I want to talk to you about trades in Laravel and I want to give you a few examples of well-known packages and our own example of where trades can be used in Laravel. So generally you would use a trade if you wanted a few or more classes to have the same behavior. Usually it's some kind of function, some kind of method, maybe with a few parameters and you want to kind of include that in a few of your classes, in controllers or in models for example. And today I will show you five examples. Three examples are from Laravel framework itself. So if you put the trade in GitHub search on Laravel framework repository, you see 138 code results and I've picked three, the most well-known ones. First is soft deleting. If you go to Laravel documentation for soft deletes, to enable soft deletes, all you need to do is add use soft deletes. And guess what is soft deletes? It's a trait. So the logic is on all your models where you want to use soft deletes, you add use soft deletes and use soft deletes. That's it. So if you have some kind of repeating behavior, which doesn't really belong in any abstract class or any hierarchy of your classes object oriented programming style, trade could be a way. So one example is soft deletes and inside of that soft deletes, if we take a look at the framework itself, it's a pretty big class. It's not actually a class, it's a trade, but that trade has variables, methods like initialize, soft deletes, force delete. So if you go to documentation and then somewhere down below it should be restore or force delete. So everything comes from the trade. And there are a few more methods which are not directly used but still support the soft deleting behavior. So that's example number one, soft deletes. Second example from Laravel framework itself it's sending password reset notification. So email to reset your password. And it's enabled with a class called can reset password. And inside of that class, there's a method send password reset notification. If we scroll up and have model preparation, verify that model user implements auth can reset password contract and uses the trade can reset password. So it's also a trade and inside of that trade you have the method send password reset notification and it's convenient to override. So the trade becomes the part of the class like an include but you can override that in the controller for example. You can implement your own send password reset notification and maybe send another notification class, another email with your own text with maybe some different logic. And third example from the Laravel itself is email verification. So if you want after registration for users to verify their email, you also use must verify email. It's a contract, but under the hood it's actually a trait. So inside of that framework you have trait must verify email and a few methods related to that has verified email, mark as verified, send the notification again and get the email. So three simple examples which we've probably used before in Laravel as examples how to use traits. And two more examples outside of Laravel framework. So well-known package by Spati called Laravel Media Library for uploading files. The core of their documentation is preparing your eloquent model and to prepare you need to use interacts with media and guess what? It's a trait. But in this case, it's a pretty huge trade. If we go to the source, it's 600 lines with a lot of stuff used internally and a lot of methods, a lot of variables. So by using this trade in your eloquent model, you get all of those methods like add media, add media from disk, get media and some formatting and stuff like that. So it's kind of all in one trade for using media library in your eloquent models. And the final example is from our own quick admin panel. So we have a module called CSV import, which you can enable on any menu item. So if you go to menus and for example, edit products and enable the checkbox for CSV import, then it generates the code and that CSV import, it's actually a trait. So if we go to view code and go to controller of the one that I've just enabled, so product controller, it actually has two traits use media uploading trade, which is also a trade for file uploads, and use CSV import trade. So to upload the CSV, we use two methods which are inside of trades. Here, CSV import trade. So process the file, so actually add the data to the database. And then another method is parse CSV import, so parse the initial data into temporary page. And here inside of the trade, we don't mention any controllers or models, so it's not attached to any specific page. And whenever you need that trade, you need to enable that in your controller. 
So I hope with those examples you understand how trades work. I will link them all in the description of this video so you can check them out and study a bit deeper. And that's it for this video. If you want more videos like this one, you can support this channel by doing one of two things. Use our Laravel Quick Admin Panel, which you see on the screen, quickadminpanel.com, or enroll in one of my courses at laraveldaily.teachable.com. See you guys in other videos.